What is up guys? Phoenix here. Thanks for stopping by. You've heard of a Let's Play video? Well this is a Let's Bed video. I've got something to get off my chest, so let's get started. What you're seeing here is a very mystical, never before seen piece of footage. It's actually single player Call of Duty! That is right, single player. It does exist. They wouldn't last another night. Oh, I just, I just, I don't know. I cannot understand. Please help me understand how someone can go spend sixty dollars of their hard-earned money, or their mother's hard-earned money. Let's be real here, guys, and not actually play the entire game. I mean, you've got, you've got the campaign. You've got that multiplayer. I know you guys out there go straight for that multiplayer. But then you've also got squads and extinction in Call of Duty Ghosts. So really you've got four different mode types you can play. What I need to understand, because I just don't get it. As a consumer, if I spend $60 on something, I want to get, I want to get my money's worth out of it. You know, I want to enjoy it. I want to see all it has to offer. I cannot just go right into the multiplayer and not ever touch anything else. My curiosity always gets the best of me. Even if I do like multiplayer more than the other modes, I'm not saying I'm not saying I love love the campaign and it's just you know I can't put it down and I can't ever play multiplayer because I'm so wrapped up in the campaign. I'm not saying that. I'm saying how can you not at least experience the other modes? I mean, look at this. So the legend goes. Come on, Dad. That was an epic intro. Yeah. Now you've got a father and son bonding trip on, here. I mean, to the house. this is unbelievable. This is Xbox let's One go. footage, by the way. Shake a leg. Anyway, I'm losing my train of thought. Okay, back to my uh, my observation. Okay, to me, if you buy a game and only play like one portion of it, it's the equivalent of going to McDonald's, ordering a Big Mac combo meal, then when your order's up, grabbing it, walking over to the trash can, throwing away your campaign pop and your extinction fries, right in the garbage, and then sitting down and eating your multiplayer Big Mac. It just doesn't make any sense. I mean, why as a consumer would you not want to at least experience all of it? I just, I just need some help here, guys. Whoa, the grounds are shaking. If you guys haven't touched the campaign yet in Call of Duty Ghosts, I highly recommend it. I mean, some guys, I, I've seen, you know, some players will play Call of Duty multiplayer for like three, four hundred hours. Three, four hundred hours. What you should do is just give yourself, you know, five hours. Just take five hours of that four hundred you got there invested and just go experience the multiplayer. It's actually really fun. Look at this! It's madness! There's cars driving around! What's going on? It's an earthquake! You gotta experience it. At least, at least if you if you don't have the persistence to get through the entire five hour epic long impossibly hard to finish campaign. You could at least play for like a half an hour just to say, hey, I looked at it, it wasn't for me. Or the extinction mode, which is kind of like an alien zombies twist kind of mode. I actually haven't played it yet, but I will. But I will. I will play that. And there's some squads mode that looks pretty cool too. It's safeguard or something like that where it's kind of like survival mode from Modern Warfare 3, but they drop care packages. I watched some footage of that and that looks pretty tight too. We gotta get out of this house! It's jammed! Push, guys! What? What's going on? 15 minutes earlier. Oh no, you did it! Call of Duty in space? What's up? Do guns fire in space? I don't know, we'll figure out. Don't guns need oxygen to fire? I don't know. Call of Duty is anything, it's 100% realistic, so we'll find out. Here's an idea, what if 
What if Call of Duty, instead of $60 for the entire package where you've got the campaign, you've got multiplayer, you've got squads, you've got extinction, what if you could buy each of those for $20 a piece? What if you could just buy Call of Duty multiplayer for 20 bucks? You'd be good to go. You wouldn't have to get the campaign for 20 bucks. You wouldn't have to get squads for 20 bucks. Maybe you could lump squads and extinction together or something. What do you think that would do? How many people? I'm betting about 80% of people would just buy the multiplayer and skip the rest. That's kind of an interesting thought. What do you guys think about that? Please, if you guys could help me out, leave me a comment down below. Let me know. If you're one of those kind of guys, I'm not trying to judge here. I'm not judging. I'm just trying to understand. If you're one of those guys that only plays the multiplayer, never touches any of the other modes, let me know why you do that and why How are you not curious on what's going on in the other part of the game. Oh, no! Blood, they're shooting. Okay, apparently we've solved it. The mystery, guys. Guns do fire in space. It's confirmed in Call of Duty. Next gen, we know it's true. So, there you go. Mythbusters, right here. Run! Oh, no! Look at that! Oh! Oh, well. That's... Wow. Let go. Let go. Let go, my God! No! Stop it! Oh. Got him. Sit down, noob. Float down, noob. This is not a simulation. Well, thank you. That was very informative. I'm actually not through the entire Call of Duty campaign here yet, guys. And Ghost. I'm probably about halfway through. I've been playing multiplayer. I'm going to be jumping on that extinction mode here pretty darn soon. Maybe I'll do a live commentary of that. Maybe my first playthrough. Put some safeguard, or whatever that's called in, in the squads mode where it's kind of like survival mode. Oh, stuck on the doorway. This is pretty epic, guys. There is a a space weapon called Odin laying waste to the United States. It is up to us to take this thing out before it does any more damage. So what do you think of this Let's Vent video? I'm thinking this could be maybe a new series for my channel. You know, once in a while, you gotta just get this stuff off your chest. You gotta, you can't keep things like this bottled up inside of you. It'll just, it'll just fester and turn to, to ickiness. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know, normally my channel is a very positive, happy, rainbow and unicorn kind of place. But I think in this series here, we may have to, you know, explore what's outside of that. Kind of get those things off our chest that just kind of fester and just yeah, just ugh, drive you nuts and you got to figure out why. So I'm, I'm, I'm hoping you guys can let me know in the comments down below what I'm missing here. How could you just skip over three-fourths of the game? I just don't get it. And I'm not saying the campaign is like the most epic gaming experience ever. It's not. But as you can see here, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's not bad. It's definitely worth your time. You know, if you could take five hours of that 400 you've got invested in multiplayer and experience it, it would definitely uh, be a change of pace. Especially if you're getting lag or, you know, just the nights your game's off or you're just sick of it. Instead of raging and playing, playing angry, man, just flip over to the campaign and cool down and just have some fun. Oh yeah, we gotta we gotta disable this thing. All right, light it up. I think we should back up. Never mind. Grab that hose thing. I don't know why. Hang on to that. Yeah, that's important. I'm gonna pop this. All right, come on. Is she trying to stay limp so she doesn't get hurt? No. Uh, was she eating grape jelly earlier? We have 
No, mm, that doesn't look good. Oh boy. All right, well we took out the uh, Odin. We're saving people down below at the cost of us. But, uh, uh. Oh, we're back to this, push! I realize I don't have to narrate it, but it's just no fun that way. Oh no! It just got real! Let's go, Ash! Jump in Tomb Raider style! Let's go! Let's do this! Woo! Slide! Got that Call of Duty slide mechanic! Shaking and a bacon? Whoa! Yeah, we gotta time this. Alright. Oh! Faulty construction there. Shake it off. What a beast! Whoa! Pool table! Well, if you're one of those multiplayer only kind of Call of Duty guys, I want to thank you especially thank you for watching this episode I know it might have been painful for you to watch this single player but hey even if you don't play it on your own system at least you can say you watch some of it oh no tanker truck inbound that does not look good it's dad As you can see guys, Call of Duty Ghost does have a pretty epic campaign. On, and if you don't want to play it, you gotta admit, it's not too shabby. It's not super long, you should be able to carve out some time to experience it. So you can say as a consumer you got your full money's worth. I know I'm gonna do it, I'll get it done eventually. As well as play those other modes. Let me know in the comments down below, are you a multiplayer only kind of guy? Or experience everything kind of guy? I like to get my money's worth. Thank you so much for watching again. Let me know if you like this Let's Vent episode. Should it be a series on my channel? Yes or no? Until next time, this is Phoenix. I'm Audi.